But if we don't win, I predict that you'll have a depression the likes that we had in 1929, because these people are crazy. They're spending money like drunken sailors. Uh, nobody's ever seen them. Nobody's ever seen anything like what they're doing. Uh, Nine trillion dollars on green on the Green New scam, and uh, <laughs> no, it's the craziest thing. They got windmills going up. The whales are all fly. We didn't. We had one whale in 50 years. Now we got like nine every three months or something. You know, so it's doing something. You know, they said, "Well, maybe it's not the windmills. It's doing something." You know, that noise goes down there. Those whales are getting crazy. But it's so bad, it's so bad for everything. The wind is, is a rough one because it kills all your birds. It's the most expensive energy uh, you can get. It's intermittent. I used to joke, you remember? I'd say, oh, we want to watch the president on television tonight. He's in a debate. And uh, the husband would say, I'm sorry, Sarah, the wind isn't blowing. I don't believe we'll be able to get any electric tonight. We're not going to be able to watch our president. And people got a kick out of it, but it's true. It's very intermittent. It's very expensive, extremely expensive. And then they have other forms of uh, energy. And then what they want to do is put all electric cars, which don't go far, which are a basic disaster. But if you want to buy one, that's okay. But if you want to, you know, drive down to the local delicatessen, or if you want to drive back and forth from uh, a store because you want to buy new uh, underpants, okay? <laughs> that's for the guys. The, girls, the women are a little bit different. But if you want to drive... If you want to drive down to the store to buy clothing or if you want to do something locally, it's fine. But these cars don't go very far. And, you know, if you say, gee, let's drive to Idaho. Let's get some beautiful potatoes in Idaho. Uh, it's not going to work out too well because you'll have to stop about six times. And it's just crazy what they're doing. And, you know, the, the gas stoves are going to take away. And all of that stuff will be gone the first day because I, it's an executive order. The one good thing about an executive order is you can terminate it immediately. And he basically only gets executive orders because that's all he can get. He can't get anything through, much through Congress, but he gets executive orders and he just signs them. But that's both good and bad because when we do it, we want to keep it.